Cześć wszystkim, nazywam się Paweł Buczek, witaj na kanale na Muchę. Przepiękne góry dookoła, jezioro jak marzenie. Tylko czy pstrągi w nim są? Sami ocencie, serdecznie zapraszam. That is the road which going to this lakes. Ooh. I will be here about the two miles of climbing. I can go by the car, but unfortunately my is not 4x4, four four, so I'm a little bit worried. And I left my car right behind the gate, which is located there, and I will be walking. Whew, wish me luck! It's completely wild. And apparently them two lakes, she is one big one, but it looks like two from above. He's right there, but I got still about a mile and a half of walking. Who would you expect this? It's like a hidden gem. Beautiful. All the mountains all around. Nice. Down there is well far. It's the main road. And that is the Snowdonians Mountains. Obviously the path of it. The legs they are there. Oh, it's a quite a long walk. But thanks God. Ooh, supposed to be two miles. No, it's not. I got already 4K, which is three miles. Well windy, like I expected, well that's it is when I'm in the mountains. I was preparing myself for this journey probably about the two weeks. And I have everything what I need with me today. So I got the Orvis rod, which is 9.5 with the floating 5 and I got lots of boxes of different flies from really tiny ones, uh, blacks and uh, size 18, so really tiny ones up to a little bit bigger ones, to size uh, 16 and 14 but I think the main one will be something black as daddy long legs so something like that because I think the trout actually there was never see any other bites parts of them people who's coming in here and feed them but I hope they not oh look stunning and I got a whole lake only for myself there's no one around I looked it on my society uh, some people will be going here for the next three days but I'm the first one in this year who's going here and thanks God I got really lovely weather a little bit moist there was raining like three days ago and it's a lot of puddles of water so thanks God I decided to leave the car there and make it walk I'm arrived oh that was quite a long walk that was take me about one hour from the place when they left the car. Was worth it. Bonfire, chair, they had a fantastic time, but they left the rubbish and walk off. Come on people, what's wrong with you? Such a beautiful surrounding, you can't leave it, everything clean and tight behind you. Hello lamb, that is my camp, I got the rod on me which is uh, Orvis Echo Center 9 foot 5 with the floating 5, I did put it through about a 10 foot long leader with one daddy long legs 
and as a dropper I was putting on really small tiny uh, Cooper John I can tell it's quite deep so I will be keep myself well close to the bank because the wind blowing that way so I will be trying to cover that bit here and we see how they go <laughs> my first cast I'm gonna take some line out oh yeah and now start fishing who would be expect a lake like that middle of the nowhere huh. only one question so there are any trout in here apparently it's a plenty of brown trout so only can tell did i caught any or not i wish to would be a great Beautiful place. Oh, dream come true. Beautiful, really beautiful place to fish. Already first take. So it looks like it. And then two flies when I put them on. They're working well on them. Oh, I messed it. I messed it up. I don't take enough attention. So I was looking around on all the hills and how beautiful it is here. The trout was heated. Said they not going from the top, or you can tell is because it's too wavy. I just can't see them any movement on the top of the surface. But I, I believe it's quite a lot of them. If I had already take after third or four cast, so I guess there must be quite a lot of them in here. Sun coming out. Oh. I always wait for a day like that. Absolutely brilliant. Make this lovely sound, all the lamps around me. Only one thing is what I'm worried about. If anything coming out from that forest, I would be bloody hell jump into the water. Oh. Lots of white fluffs and I just noticed they tried to grab it. Something really, really tiny. So I think I will be changing them to flies in a minute for something really small, tiny white. Uh, floating flies and uh, we see how they go but I wish to move myself there because we we'll be got wind on my back so I can make some little bit longer cast but I wish to try it here that bit first before I go in there wild trout they are here I guess the brownies and the mount one, mountain ones so the breed, probably there will be a tiny ones but I can expect some really also some big ones but at the moment I just to see them see some movement just about but because of the whole straight strong high wind it's just hard to tell it's really hard to tell if it would be just a little bit less windy and they would be a little bit much more stable I would be can see a little bit more like that just the one single one I just noticed the fish start rising and start taking from above so only one fly at the moment and we'll see if they will be don't work. I'll just put it through. I got hope they will be see it. And it will be easy also cast it that way. Let's we'll see how they go. I just noticed the fish jump. Well no, they were close to me, so not really far. They definitely take something from the surface. And we want to get hope that fly is the right one. But it's so wavy, I just can't see that fly. I just need to look on the surface on the water of movement. Oh, here it is. I see now. When it's close to me, I see that fly. But it's well far, I just can't. I got lots of, lots of little different boxes with me today. Some lures and sinking bites and floating bites, wet flies. Uh, so I got a lot to choose off. But I wish to try first the uh, dry. If they work, brilliant. If not, I will be try to decide something different. I got no one to ask uh, which kind of fly to use it here. I did spoke a couple days ago with a uh, Hoyleg member. But only says it's well difficult to get in here because the road is required 4x4 car. <laughs> That's it. And I forget to ask him about which kind of fly to use it here.
Still nothing on the dry fly. Ah, uh, just thinking to make me move myself a little bit further. See fish jumping there, but I think there would be a place to go because I would be covered by the wind a little bit. But I know he is well deep on the front of me, so that I would be expecting all of them here. But well, who knows, maybe he also is deep there. Because I never fished it here before, so I really can't tell. Just that strong wind, cast against the wind is not that fun. Oh, it's a side wind, so it's not so bad. Try to make it flat cast. And I'm coping some, so, but without the experience, difficult. <laughs> I would be say difficult against the wind. I have to just have to take. Oh, and I think just to take my fly. No, it's actually it's the fly. Just right there, right in the corner. Oh, god damn it! First take of the day, and I messed up. Oh, it was fishy. Take it right there in the corner. I see it. Just grab it. And I have no chance to even try. Time to come back to the camp and have a break. Oh, uh, maybe I will go try them from the other side. I have a wind on my back, so I need to put the jumpers on. It's becoming more and more windy. There is, I'm really sorry for the sound of it, the sound quality, but I forget the foam which reduce the wind. Time to move there. Maybe I will be more succeed. I had it only one take on the dry fly. Right in the corner. But because I got the straight on my face, it's well difficult to cast and fly from big to big. So I'm thinking I will be cast from there. It's a well covered and it's much shallow so I can get into the water. Obviously not deep, well close. But when I'm here I wanna try to the older beast when I can able to, to go. Some well old construction. I believe there was someone house. Oh here yeah, the really beautiful view. Oh now it's much better. I'm completely covered from the wind. On the front of me is quite deep, so I'm not going any deeper than when I am. Looks like there was an old harbour here and a boathouse. You see another construction right there in the corner. Why am I going there? I need to climb and I got enough of climbing for one day. I still use the same dry fly with that previously. Oh, we see, I'm going to try it here first a couple of times on the dry. If it doesn't go well, I change my settings on something black. I did spoke ages ago with John and he says me, John, which kind of fly are you supposed to use it in the places like that? Anything black, anything black. Okay, I will try later on some black. At the moment I had just a one take, right there in the corner. No, there was, yeah, there was right there, sorry corner. I just had to take on another one, on the dry, right there. Hope we'll be taken another time. Really small tiny they are, really really tiny. Looks like it I would be need to change the setting for really tiny flies. Size, size 18 looks like it. Got the fly size 16. I think it's a little bit too big for them for the mouth to take. But who knows? We may be having another bite in a minute. But I notice I need to chuck the line, chuck the fly, and wait quite a long time, let them drift, and then they come in magic. I did fish it there in the corner by going back to my camp. Time for the lunch time and I will be fishing here right after 
uh, I know this that place is much deeper than there and there was some more fishes to be expected right there so after lunch I will try to go there one more time That wind is coming a little bit less strong but I'm well happy at least one not a big one but better than nothing Maybe that's it for today I had just a one I had a couple takes but the winning flies I think it is a daddy long legs black Thinking size 16, so hmm, who would be expected to have a couple bumps on it? I try, still will be tried a couple times in here, but oh, really doubt it. Hi, guys, I got enough finished. I had a coated really small tiny tindler, I call them krakens. <laughs> I had it three more takes on the daddy long legs, but unfortunately I had no other takes all day. I fished it here five hours and 30 minutes, so yeah, I'm quite lucky. I had enough. Tie the lines to everyone. Weather had been changed like I expected. Maybe that's why I couldn't catch any fish. I think if I will be use the intermediate line or the full sinking line I would be more succeed but I had a well low uh, setup maybe that's why they don't take uh, one brown trout is uh, not really bad better than nothing you can't get everything so I'm I'm happy anyway <laughs> because there was a beautiful journey